Yeah, nothing weird to see here, folks. Nothing abnormal at all going on at Birmingham. Just another day in Brummie land. Aircraft carriers sitting on the runway. Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Adam J. Pestridge. Welcome to another P3D video. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me what add-ons do I use. So uh, I figured let's do a short flight where you get to see what add-ons I use. In terms of, obviously, the simulator is P3D, I'm on the latest version 5.1 with the latest hotfix. That's all good to go. Um, I'm going to quickly run through my uh, options in my like my settings, but this is particular to this flight. So, in terms of traffic, I've set 50%, road vehicles 39%. That could probably go higher. Ships and ferries only really need to be on 6%. Uh, for the global AI ship traffic package that I have to be effective. I don't have any general aviation, airport vehicle, or leisure boats active. Um, I'm using 4K resolution textures with the lowest of uh, anti-lazing. I use uh, 4K monitors, so uh, my V-Sync is off. Uh, I've set that within my GPU graphics card, so the target frame right here is unlimited. In terms of my sliders, they're pretty moderate on the terms of the scenery objects, but I still get quite a lot of detail. Um, I should be using high resolution terrain textures. I don't know why that wasn't ticked. Um, but uh, everything else is pretty much, you know, done there. Uh, I do use True Sky and I use my own configured CFG, uh, which I did a video about, and there's my settings for that. Now, in terms of uh, airport, we're here at uh, Birmingham Airport in um, the UK, which is done, I think, fantastically by UK2000. Um, this is an old airport designed for FSX, probably, uh, ported over to P3D version 4, redone maybe for dynamic lighting. But other than that, this is all it is. Uh, it covers quite a wide area. It's got uh, the port, uh, the, the bit over here, <laughs> the other side of the runway. Um, it is exactly how it looks. This is really done well, I feel. Um, I also use the, the Dreswecki design. I think that's how you pronounce it. Their grass uh, I use to basically make it look a little bit more like grass. Um, and that covers the entire world. Um, basically, just I think replaces the grass texture. Um, I use uh, GSX level 1 and 2. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, you're probably seeing Buildings HD by Orbex now. I do use Orbex products, but I don't use anything for England except for the land class and the global base. Um, and that's mainly because I create my own satellite data, which we'll see in, when we get to the air. Um, and that covers pretty much... Um, well, the whole of England, really. When you don't really see it now. Um, you've got to be at least a thousand feet off the ground before you'll see it, but that's what that is. Um, I use black marble, uh, so if I turned it to nighttime, actually, uh, you'll see just a, exactly what black marble does for you on the ground, at least, which is all those pretty lights. You know, all these lights here are pretty much black marble. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of road traffic off into the distance here. I don't know if you can pick that up, but um, that, again, is black marble traffic. Now, the great thing about the black marble traffic is that these cars that are utilized um, are really detailed, you know, and there's variety in all of them. The default ones, not so much detailed, but uh, black marble ones, highly detailed. Really cool. I really enjoy it. Um, in terms of my... Uh, Airports, I do have just like a whole host of airports, you know, for UK 2000, Fly Tampa, like all the developers probably I utilize at some point somewhere. So, so what add ons do I use? Well, um, for the skies, I use uh, my own uh, True Sky 
CFG edit uh, or the Adam experience, as some people call it, um, which at the moment I'm not actually using a weather engine. I literally have just set it to fair weather. Um, so this is the default skies, as it were. Um, and the reason I do that basically is I'm waiting for uh, Skyforce to come along. Uh, I don't use Active Sky. I've I've been finding it way too unpredictable, basically, um, with what it does and what it what it the sim connect behind the scenes. So I don't use Active Sky at all. Um, I use Rex uh, Skyforce. So uh, usually uh, I have Orbex. Uh, products in I have the I have all their global products so I have the the global base I have all the land class I have I don't use the vector um, mainly because I use black marble vector and then and five, five, what you can hear now five, is five, the ATC isn't VATSIM uh, it's Pro ATC a ATC program that I, I utilize um, when I'm offline when I'm flying offline this program is fantastic for really replicating an immersive uh, experience of, uh, of of a controller you know uh, ATC controllers I, I highly recommend it it is like it hasn't been developed for in a while it hasn't had any updates really for a, a good couple of years but it still works in 5.1. It's a bit of a setup learning curve, but once you get it going, it, it's fantastic. It really is fantastic. So uh, I utilize that when I'm not on that scene. Um, in terms of the landscape, uh, in England, at, the, at least at the moment, I use my own satellite data, which uh, is what you'll see when we get up uh, in the uh, clouds. But um, otherwise, it would be Orbex, uh, the regions. Uh, I don't use California or England anymore. I basically have swapped them out with satellite data imagery. Um, airports, I, I have a whole host of airports ranging from UK2000, like Tampa, Orbex, just like every developer probably I utilize. This one at the moment is uh, UK2000, Birmingham. Uh, this is my home airport, and this is exactly how it looks. It's identical to how it looks, really. Um, it's a nice afternoon here. Um, we've got a bit of traffic here. Looks like he's uh, heading off somewhere. Nice, uh, nice turnaround there, mate. Um, but this, like UK2000, I think it's fantastic. Looks great, even at night time. Dynamic lighting is great. Probably this was originally made for FSX and then updated for P3D version four, but. It still works. This I did install this in as a version five installer, but it, of course we know that not everything is integrated into True Sky as it should be, really. So that's basically it. I mean, I to list every airport would be crazy. It would just it would take too long. So what I do basically is I have mapped out my all my airports here. I've made the Google map of all the airports that I own. And that way I can keep track of them, but also this really helps me to plan my route. So if I was going from Birmingham, say, we sort of hover into Birmingham, uh, which I'm guessing is that one. Yep. And I would say, let's go from Birmingham to uh, somewhere like Grand Canary or something down here. Um, then, like, okay, I, I've got Grand Canary Airport. I've got Birmingham Airport. I can make a flight plan now. And this basically really does help me to keep track of everything that I have. Um, so... A lot of developers, a lot of airports. In terms of uh, planes, I basically have a multitude of planes, both Airbus and Boeing. I am more of a Boeing person rather than an Airbus. Uh, let's get the fuel, fuel trucks in position. Okay. Uh, let's get the boarding going then. Uh, request uh, boarding for the passengers. Uh, undock outer jetway. No. That's deboarding, that is. No, we don't want them deboarding. We want them boarding. My bad. That's why. Right, so they'll be coming over. I mean, look, this is the fun thing about GSX here. It's just put on the, f the uh, catering, uh, and he's fueling up the, uh, the tanks. And it really does lend an immersion, uh, immersive factor, I feel, into, you know, the flight simulation. Um... What else do I use? Uh, basically, 
loads of different planes, loads of different airports. But the, basically, the main add-ons I do here are self-loading cargo. This is a, a passenger experience uh, that's really, really fun. Uh, Seatbelt signs on, actually, you can tell them we're ready for boarding. I come crew, we're ready to get going now, so as soon as you're ready, you can open um, the doors and start letting the passengers on board. Thank it, you. It really enhances the experience of being an airline captain. No problem. You know? Um, it has voice sets in there. In fact, I mean, with this thing, they tell you, you know, what they're thinking. Um, there, if there's any issues here, it would happen here. If there was any medical issues there, but also, um, it's you get cabin crew reports. Yeah. Um, and the fun thing is here, uh, all your flights are logged, so you can see all the flights I've done, and you also get a visual representation of people starting to board or the cabin crew on and what people are doing and how they're feeling and it is really cool i mean it really has got everything here passenger manifest even got their names here what they're carrying you know where they're seated like <laughs> barry wilkinson he's on board oh baza he's gotten on board um the, the fun thing is you actually can sort of give them food give them drinks play them a movie even make pa announcements this thing has it all i highly recommend it it's so much fun another thing i use ultimate crew as well this basically simulates a crew in the cockpit um talking to the passengers and each other and it is really really quite fun now this is for version 4 as you can see but it works in version 5 just the same um, GSX I use as well as you can see here both levels 1 and 2 um, so they're starting to uh, oh, I need to open these doors here don't I oh my gosh uh, fuel is fueling obviously you'd probably put the fuel on before the passengers but fuel's almost finished to be honest so uh, looks like they're loading the cargo on the old uh, plane there we'll go have a look at them see where they're up to. I don't think I've done the walk around to be fair on the old uh, plane here. Alright love, how's it going? Yeah? It's a bit loud here, isn't it? Oh. There you go. Putting the, uh, the bags on. Yep, cargo's going on. Hey, all right. How's it doing, Jim Bob? You fueling me up fine, yeah? How much fuel we got? How much you giving me, mate? What does it say here? I don't know. I'm not an engineer. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, what's what's happening, man? You like your job? Well, it is what it is, mate. Find uh, enjoyment in your job, mate, yeah? Right, it's a bit loud around here, to be honest. Let's, uh... And here she is, the smiling British Caledonia. Look at that. Always got a smile. Always got a smile. So, yeah, it's, um... It's all just part of the immersive experience of, uh... Being, like I say, like an airline captain, I guess. Uh, passengers are starting to board, I saw. I just saw them. Um, should see them coming down the jetway, actually. I don't really... see any at the moment I'm sure they will they are they are starting to board um, we are actually I think yep uh, boarding clusters now yep so that's basically everything I use now I do also use this here um, flight control now this is um, an amazing piece of software it does so much not only do you have your map here which basically shows you your flight plan route um, but also zoom in closer to your own aircraft you've also got like if you need to navigate for yourself you can you know it's got a rose here to navigate with it shows you all the other traffic in the skies and the best thing about it is like it's got its own pushback system built in you can do your fuel your payloads within it as well but this is the best bit really uh, it's also got failures built in so uh, currently yeah failures are shown uh, you can actually have random failures if you wanted to happen. You know, um, I'm not going to push them because we don't want any failures to happen. But 
basically you can set this plane up for uh, having a failure in flight, which I plan to do uh, some videos of where there will be a failure, but I definitely wouldn't do it with this plane because I don't know enough about it to be fair. But um, this, this is a really, I, I, I highly recommend this. It really is helpful, but you can also position your aircraft as well. You can do training work with it on final, you know, re reload it on final, reload on final. This is a really good piece of software. I usually have that on another screen. I will close it down now though, because we're not actually going to utilize it in this flight, but I do use it usually in flights. I also have uh, Navigraph um, for all the charts. So, I mean, this thing's really helpful. Shows your route as well, but helps you plan your routes um, and especially you know when you're flying offline this is more help than perhaps maybe well i suppose it is the same online but I, this is i mean i utilize navigraph charts um I, I utilize chase plane i mean there's just so much that i i utilize that you don't realize actually, um, um you don't realize how many add-ons you actually do utilize in a single type of flight, really. It's it's quite insane, really. Um, but anyway. Uh, right, so fuel's fueling, uh, cargo's loading, um, the airport's airporting. Let's, uh, let's get in the plane. Right, so we're all ready for a pushback now. Let's uh, get GSX. Oh, hang on. Clearance to the Bravo Charlie Alpha 3241 with ATIS request clearance. Exterior inspection. Battery. On. APU. On. APU bleed. On. APU generator. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Locking gear. APU generator. Parking brake, gear, throttle, speed brake, flaps, com radios, transponder. Departure check completed. Fuel. Bypass pin inserted. Fuel pump. Release parking brakes. Roger, 121 decimal 8, Bravo Charlie Alpha 3241. Release parking brakes. Alpha three two four one. Request start up and push back. Bravo Release Charlie parking brakes. Three two four one. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. All right, so we can start whenever we're ready, but we'll just wait till we push back first. I think. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, like it, I mean. It, to be honest, at the end of the day, it really depends on what your kind of level of immersion you want, you know? Like, I enjoy flying and learning how to fly these planes. Um, I enjoy the operations of a pilot between the ground crew at the control tower, like the ATC, um, but also the interaction between passengers. So that's why I go to this. Some people probably like, I just want to learn how to fly the plane. I don't want to have to deal with passengers. Some people will go even further beyond me. Um, but that's this is basically what I utilize so um, and I also use project fly to track my flights which I find really really fun um, it's like a career isn't it at the end of the day but um, yeah it's uh, it's it, it's just again it just it just depends on your level of immersion of what you want really isn't it but this is this is this is what I utilize. This is what I use. I'm gonna put a list in the uh, description box below of every, of everything that I do utilize. In the upright position for takeoff, the signal call personnel will turn into glasses, including laptops and cell phones. Smoking is prohibited for the duration of the flight. Right, so we're all set up here. Our engines have started. Um, we are good to go, basically. So, first thing we need to do is get permission 
Frank Robert taxi Charlie to the wrong way. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the crew, I ask that you please direct the attention to the uh, room. As we review the emergency procedures. Uh, the taxi the lights are on. on okay. Take a minute to locate the exit closest. Navigation lights are on. Note that the nearest sure. exit may be behind you. Count right, the number. Let's get permission to get to that taxi. Bravo, Charlie. Alpha three two four one. Request taxi. Three two four one. Taxi via Delta Sierra to runway three three. Via Delta Sierra to runway three three. Bravo Charlie Alpha three two. Four, right then, let's go. Let's get the follow me car to get us there. Passengers, that's the viewpoint I have. I'm gonna minimise this now. Right, we haven't filed the flight plan. Um, we haven't really set the FMC up. We're not doing a full flight. We're just uh, running through. You know. Right. Should have a follow me car here soon. There he is. He's waiting for us. Didn't tell us what he's there. Right. Flaps. Flaps are set. Trim. Set. Trim. Trim not set. Alright, let's roll. Oh, a little bit faster here. Should be idled, yep. So, I mean, this is basically everything I utilize when I'm doing a flight. I self-loading cargo project fly, Pro ATC offline, VATSIM online. Um, what else do I utilize? Uh, the Navigraph charts. Um, I, I do have uh, something called, uh, I'd say, AccuFeel as well. So this basically kind of helps the the it's, it's it's sound only basically but it really does sort of help with the um it's like it sounds really good you know um i also utilize uh, something called uh, global ships ai uh which um puts all the ships in the world but also allows me to put like uh, aircraft carriers out as well so like basically if I wanted to I could put a, a, like a lone aircraft carrier here um, like a mile ahead of me there it is boom I hope that's not on the runway now but uh, and I could I could land on that if I wanted to um, it's it's really good uh, it's really fun uh, I've been trying to uh, convince VATSIM to uh, try and do an event based around one, but they were like, you can't guarantee people will have this product or so it's free, mate. Absolutely free, you know? So maybe one day we'll, we'll, we'll be able to do that. We just want to tell them. Um, what else do I utilize? Uh, so Ships AI, AccuFeel. Uh, I also have... Uh, RAS Professional when it's turned on, um, which basically simulates the um, you know the, the awareness uh, runway awareness program. So it tells you when you're approaching a runway, when you're on a runway, whatever. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, I, was, I, I to be honest, I I utilize quite a lot, you know, and just kind of forgotten how much I utilize. You know, within just one flight. Um, so this is UK 2000. I do have the FS Global Mesh as well um, installed, which is the 2020 up-to-date mesh. Uh, I utilize that. So all the lumps and bumps in the ground are courtesy of that. Um, I don't disable any more. I used to disable like the mesh and the um, like the default mesh and the default 
uh, Orbex mesh, but I don't anymore because I tend they they're a bit sneaky. They put other information in that mesh, uh, so if you disable that, you'll lose that other information, which is information I need. So I can't disable them, unfortunately, which is a bummer. Three, two, four, one. Transponder two, five, four, two, one. Squawk five, four, two, one. Bravo, Charlie Alpha. Three, two, four, one. Five, four, two, one. Walking. Uh, I don't even think we set this up to be honest. Auto throttles, maybe that's probably a good idea, isn't it? Flight directors are on. Unit she set. Speed. We haven't, really, we haven't set made a flight plan to be fair. Six eight seven two. Clearly active. Contact parking. Six eight seven two. Taxi via Echo Tango to parking position three. Via Echo Tango with parking position twenty three orbit six eight seven two. Since I turned the auto throttle on, this thing don't work anymore. So maybe we'll wait. Hey, uh, yep. Close encounter. That's good. that's quite close to the runway. That is. It's just the sort of things you find these days, isn't it? Airbus A320, look at that beautiful little British Caledonia livery. Gorgeous, man. Yep, so here we are, we're at Birmingham. Taxi to the runway. I'm trying to think what else I use, to be fair. If I was to use a weather program right now, I could load up um, FS Global weather, but. I don't. I mean, it's fine. Oh, uh, the grass, by the way. Um, this is basically uh, Dreswicky Design Grass. Uh, I use their their add-on grass thing, and um, basically it gives like high 4K grass everywhere. So just makes it that look look that little bit more realistic. I think you can also set it to snow as well um, in the winter time. So. Um, yeah. Right then, let's uh, get permission to, uh, well, we don't want to force to take off, but... Actually, we're at runway 15, mate, not 33. Are you kidding me, man? I ain't got a bloody way all the way. Do you know what? We're taking off. I said it was runway 15 that we were supposed to go to. I must have misheard him. But the aircraft carrier put me off. Do you know what? We're going to land on that. We're going to go and try it. We're going to take off. We're going to circle to land on the bloody aircraft carrier. Here we go, boys. Right, runway lights, for some reason, are off. There we go. Cabin crew, prepare for Ready for takeoff. 
Flop set. Rock and roll. Why is that kicking off? Because me speeds are shut up, you tarts. Dude, we're taking off anyway, so. Shut the us. Uh, there we go. 100. Here we go, boys. B, C, D, 3, 2, 4, 1. You are not clear for takeoff. Oh, we're going anyway. <laughs> Rotation! B, C, D, 3, 2, 4, 1. You are not clear for takeoff. Clear well, for takeoff. no way, Jose, buddy. We ain't ho boring this up. bitch. Gear up. Yep. Gear up. We ain't a boring this one, boy. Oh, hello. Right, so we need to sort of keep Birmingham in sight here, so flaps up. They're on board now, aren't they? Right, we're only going up to 5,000. So, uh, we're slowing speed down to 190. And we're going to do a turn here. Why are we turning the other way? Should be turning the other way. Why are we turning the, this way? Dude, what are you doing to me? I said turn the other way. Airbuses don't listen. We can't lose the airport in sight. we got to keep that in sight at all times. Look at that. That's that satellite data mapping I was telling you about. Usually it's a bit crisper than this, to be fair. Where's Birmingham? There it is. There's the aircraft carrier. Right. Right. No, we're not going to 170, boy. We're turning this off. I'm going to fly us down. We're landing on a bloody aircraft carrier, mate. We're going a little bit too fast here, so let's have some speed brakes, shall we? Whoa, dude. Whoa! What the hell? That just nuked me power. I'm not an Airbus pilot, by the way, guys. Definitely not. Full throttle. Bloody hell. Where's the aircraft? There it is. I can see the aircraft carrier. Right, we're going to have to come around these buildings down here. What's going on? Honestly... Toga Link. What? Well, hang on. Air brakes. Better put some. Too fast, Dude, it's going too fast, mate. Climb power. Climb power. Oh, she's not listening to me. She's on auto throttle off, mate. Flight director off, in fact. Because this plane needs to listen to me, mate. She, I can't control inputs are down. Right, how do you turn this bitch off? Off, 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 off. Right, I've got control of the plane. Come on. Give it to me now. Dude, I need to go down. Why are you not letting me go? Right. Kill the thralls. Kill the thralls. There we go. Right. There we go. It thinks I'm on some sort of suicide mission, but I just want to land on the bloody aircraft carrier, mate. Right, I think we need to start turning now. Got to watch the speed as well. Could do this with a Boeing easily. Airbus. Yeah. 
Airbus don't let you fly their planes. There it is. We're way too wide. Hey, where's the aircraft carrier gone? There it is. Turn right, never mind that, mate. We're going down. Shit. Oh, dude, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, Jimmy! Air brakes. Give me some flaps. We're way too high. Alright, we need to lose some speed. What the hell is going on here? Shut up, mate. You're putting me off. No wonder Airbus is bloody... Wheels down. We're going down. You're pushing me back up, Airbus. I'm trying to land the plane on the aircraft carrier. Oh, honestly, Airbus is just bullshit. It's taking over again. Auto throttle, turn off. I can't. Oh, we've overshot. We've overshot. Waste of time. Bloody waste. Can't fly Airbus, I can, honestly. You can't have fun in an Airbus plane. You have to fly it properly. You know, and I'm not an Airbus pilot. I'm a Boeing pilot. Do you know what? We might set up this up another day where at least, you know, we can do it. I can do it in a Boeing Airbus. Forget it. Throttle keeps going back on. That's why. Look at that. Oh shit, we're going down. Oh shit, boys, I've killed us all. Pull up, pull up. Two thousand five hundred. Oh, any redeems? Oh, right. Wheels are down. Give me full flaps. Let's let the plane know we're landing. Come on. Slow it down. Slow it down. This is it, boys. This is it. If the plane doesn't ki spice me... Shut up. If the plane doesn't spice me now, we've got this. We've got this. If the plane spices me with the auto throttle, we're fucked. We're not climbing and maintaining nothing, boy. We're coming in for landing on the old uh, Ronald Reagan there. I think it's the Ronald Reagan anyway. 1,000. Yeah, this is it. This is it, boys. This is it. This is the one. We're a bit of a skew iffy angle, but here we go. Can he do it? 500. Can he do it? Flaps up. Oh, we've shitted out. No! No! Uh, and they all die. They all die. As they smash into the... Uh, yeah, that's it. Right into it. Anyway. Reversers on. Spoilers. Brakes. Let's come to a complete stop. I did say reverses, but there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Uh, all trade tables uh, in their upright position, please. 
as we slam through the houses of Birmingham. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I no satisfaction there. I mean, what are they saying? Passengers are thirsty. <laughs> But that's my add-ons, guys. That's that's what I use in a normal flight. This isn't a normal flight. Project Fly, I'm cancelling that. I'm not having that. Landing rating was probably like minus 10,000 or something. Like but um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you in the new year. <laughs>